Yo YouTube, what's up? I'm Tim, this is the Cash Guy and AC Sports Report. And, I mean, I was just at a party and we we actually got into, you know, I wanted to go to a Sixers game because they're relevant again, in, in a sense. And, I, I mean, the, I, I was at the whole party, it was with family, and I couldn't find a single person who wanted to take me. Not because the Sixers are bad, but because there's no one there cared about the NBA. Uh, except one guy who's there. Uh, my cousin's husband, he's actually from Chicago, he's a big Bulls fan. He said, yeah, maybe we'll do that. So, that problem might be solved. But, some of the complaints I heard, and it, this whole conversation actually started because we started talking about, you know, March Madness and brackets, and we were watching the Duke-UNC game, which wasn't even a good game. I don't really know why we were watching it. But, I, I just think... Why are there so many complaints about the NBA when I think basically college basketball is similar? But let, let's get into some of these. The last two, me some of the constant negatives about the NBA that you hear. The last two minutes are the only part that count. Well, that that may be true in a sense. I, I think a lot of it is players aren't going 100% to the last few minutes. But I think the last few minutes being good is probably a good thing for the game. So, I mean... I don't have any problem with that. Regular season irrelevant. Well, I mean, I don't say, see how you can sit here and call the NBA season irrelevant when college basketball is the most irrelevant se regular season of any sport in America. Um, all the other sports, the regular season matters. And I know eight teams get in for the NBA, and I'll get back to that part in a second. But, you know, teams are still fighting for spots. It's not like college basketball where 68 teams are getting into the tournament this year. I think college basketball season, quite frankly, bores me. Uh, it's too long, and I don't even pick it up really till January, February, and I, I don't really care about it till March. I'm not going to lie about that part. Uh, I have better things to watch. I have the NFL, I have MLB playoffs, and then the NBA season and NHL. I mean, I I don't have time for this because I don't think the product for college basketball is necessarily as great as it makes is made out to be. Uh, the, the next complaint is that players don't try. I disagree with that. I think sometimes you can see certain players who don't try or aren't trying as hard, but I think a lot of it is just people don't people don't watch the NBA playoffs and that that's my biggest part people watch March Madness because it's a cool thing to do and because someone at their work hands them a bracket and says you win this bracket you can make seventy dollars or some deal like that there's nothing like that with the NBA and I think they sit down and they watch March Madness and they, they say wow this is tremendous basketball and then they sit down and they'll watch an NBA regular season game and it'll be good but they'll say Wow, I mean, just the level they play at in college is better. But if you watch a regular season college basketball game, I think the level is... The, I would much rather watch a regular season NBA game because people make the mistake of this. They'll sit down and they'll watch, I don't know, Duke and UConn. I mean, I, I don't even know. I, I don't remember ever watching those two teams play. But I'm sure they do, and they're usually relevant. They'll sit down and they'll watch those two teams play. And, you know, they'll say that that's really good game. Then they'll sit down and ESPN will have on on the Friday night game the Houston Rockets and the Los Angeles Clippers pre Blake Griffin. And they'll say, you know, the NBA just has a horrible product. Why, why, aren't there anyone, why isn't there anyone in the stands? And I think there's a big reason why there's no one in the stands. And I think that there's a lack of stars in the NBA. There's lack of depth in the NBA. There's no teams that right now just have Larry Bird and they have Robert Parrish and Kevin McHale and all, all these guys surrounding them. You either got LeBron, Wade, and Bosh or you got Andre Iguodala and Lou Williams and Drew Holiday. I mean, there, there's a big drop-off in talent in the NBA, and I think that's one of their problems. Um, and that creates somewhat of a lack of parity. I think a lot of the thing with the NBA, and it's always been like this, is that you can tell who's going to be the top five teams at the beginning of the season. And for the most part, you can do that in college basketball. There's always one team this year, it looks like BYU, that can just kind of come out of nowhere. But I think for the most part, the regular seasons, to me, 
neither one, neither are the best regular season in sports, but I think college basketball probably is the worst. I think the NBA is right in the middle of the pack. I like the NBA regular season. And, you know, I, I made this mistake last year of listening to those and saying, well, the Sixers suck. Why should I watch the NBA? And that's why I didn't cover the NBA last year, because I didn't watch it. That's why when it was the NBA Finals, I just put out a video with music and and the I made a prediction. I mean, I I just I, I had no idea what I was talking about. I didn't watch the NBA playoffs, but I sat down this year, and you know the Heat, interesting to watch. The Lakers, interesting to watch. Uh, I sat down this year and I said, look, I, if I'm gonna do this show, I gotta sit down and watch these games. So I did, and. Originally, I thought it was going to be, wow, I'm really going to have to force myself every year to sit down and watch a ton of basketball. And I mean, I, I don't, I'm not one of these people that can just sit around all day. I have schoolwork, I have stuff, I, I can't do that. But I think I learned that it isn't as bad of a product as it's made out to be. It's not great. Um, and, and the NBA really needs to fix its problem with... The fact that they can't get people to come. They need to reduce ticket prices. They need to build smaller arenas. And they need more stars. And I don't know how you do that. But they need to develop more stars. And something's got to give. I don't know. Um, th and the other thing they say about the NBA is they don't play defense. Well, I, I think they do play defense in the NBA. And I think that's just a lousy thing. I, I don't have a stat to tell you that they do. But I'd, if you sit down and watch an NBA game, you do. So, I mean, basically what I'm getting at here is while the NBA has problems, I don't understand how you could say college basketball is better. I don't. Uh, is their playoffs better? Potentially, yeah, I, I would say so. But I think if you sit down, if you sat down and watched the NBA Finals last year, that was a great series. I mean, Lakers-Celtics went to seven games, down to the wire, last minute a game, it was close. Uh, the Celtics had leads in the game. The Lakers came back and win, obviously. But it was a great series. And those are two big franchises, and it's interesting. I think March Madness is like the Super Bowl. It doesn't matter what teams are in it. People are going to watch. NBA Finals isn't like that. Last year, we were lucky, and we got Lakers-Celtics. But there's been years where we haven't gotten good teams, and then we're kind of just stuck. You know, and I, I, I think... People really need to sit down and make a conscious effort to watch all sorts of games in the NBA for the next couple of weeks. And then I want them to come back and say to me, the NBA sucks. Because I think their opinion will be changed the way mine was. Um, the NBA isn't the best sport in, in America. I think football and baseball are better. And I think personally that those sports are just better. But... I, I Well, actually, I think I like basketball more than football. Just... If I'm going to go play it. But I, I just want you guys to sit down and watch. Let me know what you think about this. Maybe I'm way off on this one. But I don't think so. Um, why do you guys think the NBA season and the college basketball season are irrelevant? How can that be fixed? And how can we get rid of these general statements about the NBA that quite frankly aren't true? I don't know. Let me know. I'll see you later.